Alrighty, ladies, gentlemen, and critters, today we are going to go over subscription boxes. I got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, I bet you that came through headphones really nice. <laughs> Stay tuned as we get into these boxes. Alrighty, so we have filament boxes. I think I'm actually missing one. I'm skipping one. I'm missing the one in between this one and this one. And I have the latest one for this one that we're not going to get into just yet. Let me say that from the video. So we have number 35 and 36. So box number 35 from Maker Box. Already eaten, long since gone, is the little Haribo root beers. Yeah, they're gone. Or cola, actually. So what do we have in the box this month? This is number 35. There's some paperwork from Innofill. Shift happens. Very close, very close. <laughs> well, I guess that's somebody's channel. Uh, Obase or Cubase, Innofill. And a Chinese advertisement here. So this is from Carbodion called PLA plus U Diamond. It's a PLA functionalized nano diamond particles. Spherical active lubricant and filament extrusion causing no increase in nozzle wear. Enhanced thermal conductivity of the material enables printing at speeds up to 500 millimeters per second. That's interesting. Um, I wonder what kind of a printer you would need to even attempt it to print that fast. That's ridiculous. That'd be pretty cool to play with. But that's actually a, not a bad color. It kind of has a pearl satin sheen to it. I actually like that color. It's nice. It's like an off-white pearlescent. It's pretty nice. Next up is Inofil 3D EPR InnoPet. Oh, it's a PET. It's a polyethylene terephthalate. Very cool. And it prints at 210C with bed temperature of 35 to 75. Nice. Off or low cooling. It's a nice transparent blue or translucent blue. Ooh, I'm gonna have fun playing with that. Tyanese has a wood PLA, 25 to 30% wood um, by volume. That's pretty cool. I like the color too. It's not a common wood color, and I like that. I like having different colors. So I might have to get that. And then this is from Nile. Looks like it's a company's called Nile. This is called Florinar C Kynar PVDF. 250 to 260 on the nozzle. So right at the limit of what a Bowden tube kind of setup like a Creality printer could handle. It's made from Arkema, Arkema's Kynar Flex PVDF. 100% Kynar and 100% PVDF. Toughness, abrasion resistance, chemical compatibility, zero flame propagation, resistant to UV and ionizing radiation, up to 150 high temperature use up to 150 C. That's pretty cool. I finally figured out what that is, by the way. That's somebody trying to contact me through Facebook, which I can't do because I don't have a microphone on that thing. <laughs> um, ISO 10993 certified with zero warping for critical applications using Florin RC. That's kind of cool. I wonder how much that stuff costs. Glue stick for bed. 100C on the bed, 250, 260C on the hot end, so that should be within the capabilities of any decent modern printer, right at the edge, but within. And with the zero warping, that's kind of cool. And 150C means hot cars, no problems, hot desert sun, no problems. I might have to look into this. That's pretty cool. All right. I was going to, um, put my maker box shirt on and then 
slyly cut the video as I switched to the Alien 3D and put my Alien 3D shirt on and then switched back to the MakerBox and put my MakerBox shirt on, but I already packed them. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that in the future. That's, that's actually some pretty slick filaments in that box. I'm kind of happy with that. Let's jump to an Alien box. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> Oh, I haven't even opened this yet. So I don't even know what's in this. You're going to find out with me. We're going to eat some yum yums. There better be yum yums in here. Or I'm going to be an upset critter. <laughs> so we have some probed green PETG. That's Alien 3D's new probed green PETG color. That looks very pretty. Very, very glassy. I like that. This keeps pulling out the power cable. Got to make sure that's in there. Then we have, oh, Snow Labs. Alchemist Gold Silk. Snow Labs makes them a very, very nice filament. They're up there, like, with Protopasta and Atomic, making the very nice exotic colors. Ooh, we got two lemon heads. Ooh, I like lemon heads. Lemon heads are good. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Amazon Basics ABS Blue. Oh, nice. We get some ABS in there. I've so far been reasonably impressed with the Amazon Basics. If anybody knows who they're OEMing their filament from, let me know. I mean, I know they're not making it themselves. They're OEMing it, obviously, but I'd like to know who's making that. Ooh, three lemon heads. Then we have Filament One. Pro Select Turquoise Green. That's actually not a bad green. And a pretty generous sample, too. So, what do we have in here? Jeez. So, um, if you've got the, the more expensive box from Alien 3D, it comes with projects every month. And I don't know how he's making any money doing these filament boxes, because he buys his own filament most of the time. They're all the time, as far as I know. And he always includes some very generous projects or materials. So there's some acrylic. They feel like acrylic. Yeah, these are acrylic plates. I'm guessing you're going to make some sort of a box with that. Ashcan Comics Pub. So a little advertisement sticker in there. So what do we got here? This looks like tools. Holy crap. Holy crap. All right, we have some nice fine tip metal tweezers. We have a set of Allen keys. Yang Gong Tools, 10 piece Allen key set. We have a, I'm gonna guess that this is a nozzle wrench. It looks like about the right size, seven or six millimeter for changing nozzles. Looks like um, a set of micro drill bits. These are going to be used for cleaning out nozzle clogs. We have a Phillips screwdriver. It looks like it might be flippable. Yes, it is. So it's flippable between Phillips and a straight head. That's actually a nice screwdriver. I like that. Then we have a pair of um, thicker needle nose, just pointy tip pliers. Decent. As well as a set of side cutters. Uh, pretty cheap side cutters, but not bad. And we have a unsharpened spatula. But that's a full set of 3D printing tools. Wow. What's the project? So this is for June of 2019. Snow Lab just sticker. Very cool. I love stickers. Never have too many stickers. Uh, the mothership for this month is two rolls of probed green PETG. I would have not minded that. <laughs> um, so it comes with 3D printing related tools, small acrylic sheets for a project. What is the project? A seedling starter greenhouse. That's kind of cool. So the project this month is to make a little greenhouse out of these acrylic sheets for starting your seedlings. 
that's cool. See, I like it when you get nice little projects like that. It's just, it's just fun. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm just going to put the tools and everything in here. The lemon heads are staying out. I'm going to eat those. <laughs> These are nice tweezers, by the way. That is pretty cool. I actually look forward to building that. And our samples. And of course we have the nice box. There's my address label, there it is. So, summer 2019. Celebrate suns, celebrate summer, sun-drenched days, and starlit nights with Alien 3D and the UFO. Very cool. What do we have next? Next up is the number 36 Maker Box. Already eaten, of course. This one came, oh, I didn't eat it yet. <laughs> Harry Bo Gold Bears. So those are dead. Yep, green ones die first. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> we have a Maker Box sticker. That is cool. A Snow Lab sticker. A card for Earth 2019, which I really hope I'm able to attend. I'm going to try. You know, Phil sticker. Just notice where to go. Replay 3D. This is cool. Replay 3D is 100% recycled PLA filament. They source it from US based filament manufacturers and they ask them for their scrap material and they reprocess it into a new filament. So that is some recycled black PLA from Replay 3D, manufactured in the US from US manufacturer scraps. That's pretty cool. Ooh, that looks pretty. This is called Heritage Brick from Treed, T-R-E-E-D, uh, 22240, so it's a higher temperature plastic. It doesn't say what it is. Made in Italy. It says from Treed Architectural Materials line for prints with a brick light finish. Bed temperature 85 to 115 C. Nozzle temperature 220 to 240. So I am genuinely curious as to what this is because it has a really nice, it does look like brick. I am not going to be able to show off just how brick light this looks on camera. And it feels like it has that stone-like roughness when you rub two pieces together. This reminds me of the Form Futura terracotta style filaments. Um, very cool. I actually look forward to trying that. Ah, this is, I believe this is Luby's color. Yes, this is Luby's color for her wolf song. This is the Black Amethyst PLA Plus from Snow Labs. And, um... It looks very, very dark. It kind of looks like black and blue, purple, like you got a bruise. But you hit it with the light right, and it lights up really nice. It's got some glitter in there, and um, it, it's a very pretty color. If you haven't tried Snow Labs Black Amethyst, give that a try. It's a very pretty color. Now, this is cool. I actually, in their little giveaway contest, I won a roll of this, and I do plan to play with it because it's very, very fascinating. Um, this is your standard, what is it, um, 50 gram sample, 100 gram sample, I don't know, 20 meters, whatever this is. But in reality, you get the equivalent of 60 meters of filament with this. Because this is their lightweight um, foaming filament from ColorFab. So this PLA has a foaming agent in it that causes it to expand more than, quite a bit more than normal. So you could, if you print this at the highest temperature at 260, you can print this with an extrusion multiplier of 0.35 and it'll come out as if your extrusion multiplier was 1.0 because it expands. So you can either print with a normal extrusion multiplier and get really thick extrusions or you can greatly lower your extrusion multiplier and get far more extruded length out of the filament than what you actually put in, almost 3 to 1. 
um, a 65% increase, I think. So you're you're printing with 35% of the plastic, but getting 100%. Now the advantage that I see is that means lightweight parts. So parts where you don't need a tremendous amount of structural integrity, but where weight is critical. I mean, if you're using one third of the plastic, you have one third of the strength. Because a lot of it's gonna be air, it's foaming. But if you don't need hyperstructural integrity, like for example, small contest rockets, that you want to be nice and lightweight, but they're not gonna undergo a tremendous amount of actual mechanical force, this would allow you to use PLA to print a part and keep it um, very lightweight, significantly lighter than a regular PLA part. That's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to playing with that. So there are your samples from your MakerBox number 36. Time to murder the clear gummy bear. Mm -hmm. Those bears are dead now. <laughs> Get in my belly. <laughs> There's the gold bears. And the last box. This is his anniversary box. One year anniversary. I am missing the July box. Or not July box. May box. Yeah, May. The May the 4th be with you, the Star Wars month. I have that. I just got to find it. Um, but this is the July 2019 box, Alienversary Edition. Um, I actually won the Mothership. Apparently 13 people got that. And going to be um, coupons for Wham Bam. Um, there is a, let's see here. What did I read? 50% off coupon to Wham Bam and Micro Swiss. I'm going to make those available. It's one time use, of course. So, but I'm going to make those available to my Patreons. Because um, I can't order anything. I can't spend money right now. I have to move and buy a house and all that stuff. So, spending money, even though I very much would love to use both of those coupons, it's stupid to let them go to waste. Um, so, I'm going to give those to my Patreons. So what do we have here? This is Hello 3D. Okay, that's cool. Um, Hello 3D, blue to what? Ooh, temperature change filament, that's cool. So this filament, when it gets hot, turns white. And when it's cold, it's blue. I've always wanted to play with that filament. We have Filament 1 Pro Select Traffic White PLA. And then we have 3D Fuel. I love 3D Fuel. I, ha I have like 15 kilograms or 10 kilograms of their Autumn Orange. I bought all of Maker Boxes excess when they were putting it on sale. I bought it all. <laughs> I love their, um, their Autumn Orange. So this is Daffodil Yellow. Also a very nice color. That really does look like a daffodil. That's a nice yellow. Ooh, what do we got here? Icy cherry flavored popping candy. Oh, we're gonna have to try that. Uh, I don't wanna show these coupons, but here are the coupons. Oh no, I did not realize that these had expiration dates. Um, I'll have to see, wham bam, they'll probably give me another one since it's expired. They'll probably give me another coupon. I'll, I'll ask them for another one so that I can give it to one of my Patreons. But 50% um, off for Wham Bam and 50% off for Micro Swiss. It looks like it's for the whole order. So that's, that's a nice and bonus if you were looking to get some of that kind of stuff. We have some Wham Bam stickers and some Micro Swiss stickers. I love stickers. You can never have too many stickers. Check it out. Alien 3D's own custom build tack. Very nice. Uh, that might actually be a pretty good fit for my king rune. Where's my king rune? Yep. I think I'm going to put that on my king rune once I get a mag plate for it. Just because I like my king rune. And then we have the project. Now I understand there's no pamphlet. Boo. I'm going to have to download it. Um, I love the pamphlet. The pamphlet is nice. 
but from if I remember right, the, this is a whole bunch of LEDs and resistors and a circuit board and nine volt battery snap. I believe this is a project where you print the UFO with the clear cylinder and the cowl being lifted up by the UFO. And this gives your UFO animated lights. That's cool. Um, I believe there are two sets of LEDs. So you get one color for the UFO, like blue or something like that. And then you get like green to light up the thing. It's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. So all the parts you need, this is a DIY project, you're going to have to solder. That's okay, that's half the fun. That's a pretty slick box, man. We got some popping candy. We got a, a nice, relatively advanced LED 3D printing project. We got ourselves three samples of filament. We got 50% off coupons for Wham Bam and Micro Swiss. We got a piece of build tack that's Alien 3D customized. I mean, come on. That's pretty damn good value for this thing. I think I think it's like 36 bucks a month, including shipping. Hello. <laughs> Not a bad value. Uh, that is it for this month, or these last two months filament boxes. If you wish to sign up for any of these boxes, I do have um, affiliate links down below for both of them. So I get credit towards my own filament box. I think I get $5 each time somebody signs up. Well, $5 off my box. So, for example, I think it's 20 bucks a month for the um, Maker Box. So, four people sign up, I get my Maker Box for free. So, that works out pretty nice. And I don't mind supporting cool projects. Same thing with the Alien 3D. You know, if six people sign up, I get my Maker Box for free or my Alien 3D Box for free. So I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little preview of a whole bunch of cool filaments. Holy crap, that was a 21 minute video. I could have made that two separate videos. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have, but I'm not gonna re-record all that. No, I've gotta get to bed soon. Um, so that's it. I will, as soon as I get the um, that missing alien box, it's here in the house somewhere. I'll do that with box number 38 um, for a maker box and I'll make another video for those boxes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys have a great night. I will see you all later.